psychologically, what, what do those things do to you? The, 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 do you have ever, you have flashbacks, you have middle of the night, you wake up with nightmares. Does it do anything like that to you? Because, you know, many people in your world tell me stories like that, but I wonder what it does to you. I think it makes you more, look, I, lo- I love life. You know, it's what we're here for, isn't it? And I, mm-hmm. I love my grandchildren and I love everything, you know, that's wrapped around me. But you become a bit of a fatalist. You understand that it's, what was it Anthony Hopkins who said, you know, none of us get out of here alive. Mm-hmm. But it's the choices that you've made or the choices that somebody else has made for you. And do I, do I have dark moments? Yeah, I suppose I do. But I'm not, I don't hang on them. I remember, I remember every post-mortem that I ever went to. I remember standing next to a lady who had taken her own life on Christmas Eve in a mortuary and w- there was no viewing gallery and the, the uh, pathologist is undertaking a, a post-mortem o- on her body. They stick with my, in my mind telling her family that we'd found the body of them, their mother. You know, they are the things that stick with me forever. But that's not going to dent me as an individual because it's like saying I, I, want, I wanted to join, I want to go on a murder squad, but I never want to see a dead body. That just doesn't work, does it? It's like saying yeah. I want to be a traffic cop, but I never want to go to a road collision. No, come on, do me a favor. It's not going to, yeah. it's not going to happen. Makes either. sense. So you've got to be very pragmatic about it in your approach. Um, but you do take that. I saw a guy, my, my first um, experience of, I'd, I'd experienced deaths before, but the first guy, um, that I've seen as a horrific death. Um, he'd been decapitated in a, a road collision. He was in the road. He knelt up, and as he knelt up off the road, he had a few drinks. Taxi came along and took him off, took his head off here. And that was that was horrendous. And I'd seen people that had jumped in front of trains. And then at, at five o'clock in the morning, as the sun starts to come up in you know in June, July time, the sun comes up and the birds are there picking at this poor chap's body bits, you know, that have been sprayed across the place. They stay with you. Does that affect me? Yeah, it does times. I've been in tears. I remember I was um, a family. Uh, people think that, yeah, I don't know, the American culture, I've got family in America, and um, I love absolutely love the States, but it's like comparing apples with pears, and they're going to think I'm a soft bugger, you know. That's, that's the. But I, I was a family liaison officer for a, a, a young lady, and she'd been struck by a train, and it took two weeks to find her body. And I remember getting on a plane with my family going to Spain, flying down to Spain, and everybody's reading the national newspapers. And there she was on the front page of national newspapers, and we, we'd announced that we'd found her body. Yeah, you know, it'd been all over the national media, the BBC, ITV, the whole thing. And I just sat there and cried because you just think, that kid's been in that, she's been dead for two weeks, and we've only just found her body. So... Yes, it does affect you. You dealt. I dealt with some lovely people from the victim's perspective. Um, I dealt with some really interesting people. I bet. Um, I, I dealt with some very interesting suspects because they've all got a story to tell. So if you like this little short clip from an interview I did, click over here to watch the entire interview. And please don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye.